Okay, it's a bit windy out here, I'm sorry, but uh, this is a seed potato and I've just got it in a little tiny punnet. It's probably a bit underdone. If I had a slightly bigger punnet, um, about as high as that, um, I think this would do a lot better. But anyway, and I'm just going to show you, I'm going to sacrifice this one, I don't really need it, I've got others planted. As you can see, it's just full of full of roots. Now, to get your pull start, you're basically just pulling it off the seed potato and keeping all the roots. Then, when I planted it, I'm just probably plant it just above those two leaves here and then it's just a matter of topping it up. When I planted my other ones they were probably about oh, probably about this high so this has probably gone a bit too long but it was all an experiment so I'm not perturbed about it and with the seed potato you could probably put that back in back in a soil mix. It's just a sterile mix so I just put some um, I think it was just some seed raising mix that was sterile and there's still more rise on here so you know these these things will sprout some more so you know you won't waste it uh, I don't know what these guys are doing in America and stuff I think they might be growing theirs in greenhouses and stuff to give and under you know, heating them up so that they sprout a bit quicker but you know there you go okay I've decided to plant it uh, this is just a polystyrene broccoli box that they sell here. Loads of roots in here because we've got an olive tree over here and they're probably inside, but you get that. Anyway, uh, it's reasonably moist. Soil was just crap potting mix from way back, so it doesn't matter if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I think I had some Velthemia bulbs in here. So this is just a quarter of a cup of what they call sea mungus here. It's just a mixture of blood and bone, fish meal, uh, kelp, you name it, it's in there. It's supposed to be organic. So we'll put it up with that. Anyway, I'll pull these roots out. That shouldn't affect it too much. Okay, I'm just going to sink that down. I'm going to cover those first lot of leaves and I'll bring the mulch back around, give it a water later and uh, I'll see how that one goes.